Good evening, y'all. I got another tune for you tonight, but before I do that, I did want to acknowledge something. So tonight is Saturday, April 18, 2020, which means tomorrow is April 19. And what is April 19? April 19 is Patriots Day, which is celebrated in a couple of states. It should be a national holiday, though. And Patriots Day is to commemorate the stand that the American colonists took outside of Boston, Massachusetts, that day on April 19, 1775, 245 years ago. Long story short, uh, Dr. Joseph Warren got wind of information that the Redcoats were going to be marching out of Boston to capture some powder and some ball, as well as some cannons and maybe some guns, whatever they could find in, in Concord, where the British had intelligence of colonial stores. Warren relayed this to Paul Revere and to others, and Paul Revere and the two others made their way out tonight, in about a couple hours from now, a little bit before midnight, I believe, they headed out toward the countryside, Paul Revere across the channel, and the other two by land, and Paul Revere did make it to Lexington to warn Adams and Hancock, although he was given what, according to a Paul Revere website, seems to be faulty information that the Redcoats not only were after ammo and guns and whatnot, but also after Adams and Hancock. So I'm still not sure about the truth of that because I have heard conflicting things on that. But uh, right around now also, the Redcoats were probably mustering, getting ready to make the march out of Boston, the, I think, 20-mile march. So I did want to acknowledge that, that uh, right around daybreak, about 70 colonists stood up for our rights, uh, asserted the rights of human beings, and asserted uh, American rights. And that day, subjects became Americans. So I did want to acknowledge that. In commemoration of that, I will be going to the beach tomorrow morning. Hopefully I will get there just a little bit before sunrise. And it is an act of defiance because the beach is still closed. So I wanted to just make that mention in memory of those who stood for our rights 245 years ago. I did want to make quick mention that I have a couple of really cool steel engraving prints from, uh, these were made in the 18, uh, most of them were made in the later 1800s, but right there is John Hancock and Sam Adams. So two people directly relevant to this part of history. And without whom? Without without John Hancock smuggling and tax evading and his financial support of the revolution and without Sam Adams rabble rousing the country may have been a lot different today anyway I am gonna play another song by Credence Clearwater Revival it's down on the corner Just about supper time, over by the courthouse, they're starting to unwind. Poor kids on the corner, trying to bring you up. Willie picks a tune out, yeah, and he blows it on the harp. Down on the corner, out in the street, Willie and the poor boys playing, bringing nickel tappy feet. Rooster hits the washboard, and people just gotta smile. Blinky thumps the gut bass and he solos for a while. Poor boy twangs the rhythm out on his Kalamazoo. Willie goes into a dance and doubles on kazoo. Down on the corner, out in the street. Willie and the poor boys are playing, bring a nickel, tap your feet.
corner out in the street Willie and the poor boys are playing bring a nickel tap your feet you don't need a penny just to hang around but if you got a nickel won't you lay your money down over on the corner there's a happy noise People come from all around to watch the magic boy Down on the corner, out in the street Willie and the poor boys are playing Bring a nickel, tap your feet Down on the corner, out in the street Willie and the poor boys are playing Bring a nickel, tap your feet For tomorrow morning for myself and in general for businessmen who are trying to stay open and for individuals who are just trying to make a living and for people who are essential regardless of what some people might say, I do pray for all of our protection tomorrow and in the upcoming days and weeks and I hope that all my friends join me in doing the same and even if you're not into prayer Send us all good vibes, karma, whatever it is. Thank you so much. Have a great night.